Good morning, St. John's. Pastor Sarah here. Um, it's good to be with you this morning as we gather for devotions and prayer. Um, I found that each day, even though I feel a little bit more separated from the world, um, I'm surprised how much we can come together. And these short moments where I see folks are watching these videos and commenting and being together um, is a comfort. And I thank you for that because it just seems like we're becoming more and more separated as we're told to stay apart. And that's a good thing. Hopefully it's for it's working and we're flattening that curve and all those things. But we just need to reach out and connect with one another in some way. Um, I'm surprised at the little things that we still can be doing. Um, let me give you some examples. Just yesterday, I ran into the church and picked up, oh, you can hear my cat deciding to make an appearance in the background there. Sorry about that. Um, I had, I picked up 30, almost 30 gallons of milk that were left over at the school that were still good, took them to New Hope. We connected with other people in that way. Um, I had two congregation members ask for names of others from the congregation that they could be using the phone to check on and they did that and they reached out and people were grateful. We were connecting in that way. Um, as I was pulling into the church parking lot yesterday, I caught sight of the bus from the Mechanicsburg School District that was leaving. They're using our parking lot three days a week now as a drop off spot for meals. Um, we're connecting. We're still connecting as a church. We're still reaching out. We're still doing things for others, and that's wonderful. So I'm proud of being your pastor, and I'm proud to um, continue to serve through this time. I ask for your patience. I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time, but I'm figuring it out, and we're figuring it out together. Um, it just shows us how big the church is beyond its walls. The church was never about the building. It's about the people and what we can do. Um, I also put out some feelers to some of our sewers, and if there's anybody watching this that sews, um, to see if they would be willing to try and take their hand at making a few medical masks. Um, one place, I mean, they're talking about people needing them everywhere, but one place that they are needed right now um, that I was told is a connection to our congregation is at Country Meadows Nursing Home Facilities. Um, Joel Croft, who's a member of our church, is the um, director of memory support care, and he said that they are running low as well. We don't, we're hearing all about hospitals and those kind of things, but we might not think about our nursing homes and all that kind of stuff. So if you are a sewer, let me know and we'll see what we can do to support the ministries that our friends and our fellow church members are part of. Um, now to our devotion. Um, the scripture I chose for today is a psalm because which at least for me is where I've been turning in scripture. When I pick up a Bible, when I pick up my phone, which I have a Bible on, I, I turn to the Psalms right now because they are saying what I'm feeling. There are songs of lament, there are songs of support, there are songs of celebration, all those kind of things. And I think that we need to turn to that and let it be our words. And so today I chose Psalm 27, if you would like to follow along with me and I'll read it for you now. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foes, they shall stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord that will that will I seek after to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple for he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high on a rock. Now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger, you who have been my help. Do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. If my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not give up me up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they are breathing out violence. 
I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart, take courage. Wait for the Lord. The psalm writer, it's attributed to King David, is asking that God not give up on him, that he's doing everything that he can, and he is asking God to be with him and relying on that. And we know that God is always with us, even when we might doubt and want to give up. Um, I'm seeing those kind of postings lately of where's God and all of this. God is right here with us. God has not left us or forsaken us. God is with us through the troubles, through the good times, through the bad. God is with us. God always loves us and will continue to love us so very much. There is nothing more that we need to know than that because God is love and God is grace and God is hope. That is what we need in this time, to make those connections with one another, to be connected through our faith, and to know that God is loving us. Let us pray. God, thank you for connecting us to our church family in so many ways. Help us to simply reach out to one another through prayer, through words, through phones, through emails, through kindnesses that we don't even know are happening but are so grateful for. We pray that you would walk with us this day, calm our fears and our anxieties, make our bodies strong, help us to trust in you, give us rest as we need it, help us to know that it's okay to slow down right now and enjoy our family and to be together and to trust that the work will get done. You are so good, God, and we thank you for loving us beyond measure, beyond comprehension. Hear us today as we pray together the prayer Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we, Lord, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me today, St. John's, and I miss you all very, very much. I can't wait till we can be together again. We're figuring out um, when that might be. We just you know, saw the governor closing schools for at least another week, so that means we might have to close as well. But we look forward to being with you together in Um, on the internet and on our hearts and also in person when we can take care of one another and take care of yourselves okay bye bye st john's have a wonderful day